Oh no! You installed that anchor trolley in the last step. I'll link that up here. And now you've got a hole in your boat that you gotta fix because you screwed it up. Well, let me show you how to do that without any specialized equipment. Stay tuned. In the last step on basic kayak setup, we installed the anchor trolley. And maybe you made the hole a little bit too big, the well nut wouldn't fit, the rivet wouldn't fit, or whatever, or you put the hole in the wrong place. And now you've got a hole in your boat that you've got to fix. Well, the best way to do this is to actually get the equipment that is designed for plastic welding. This is a Hobie welder. I think it costs around 70 bucks. But you can get cheaper versions that won't last as long at Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight for around 20 And in addition, manufacturers will sell the HDPE that will match the color of your boat. But you can buy bulk HDPE on Amazon much cheaper than you can get color matching stuff from your manufacturer. And perhaps the cheapest place to get HDPE is just to go grab a container. Most containers are made out of HDPE and it'll work just fine. The way you tell if your container is HDPE is that it has the number two right there and most of the time it'll say HDPE right underneath. So all you got to do is cut out a chunk and then you're ready to go with the next step. So in this simulated hole, because I'm not dumb enough to put a big hole in my kayak and, and repair it without using the right gear. So here's a hole that we have to fix. Now there's two ways to fix this. If you can reach the hole from underneath, you take a piece of aluminum foil and you're going to put that underneath the hole and you're going to tape it in place. And that'll provide the uh, surface against which you're going to melt the HDPE. But if you can't reach it, well then there's another solution. But before we get to that, that's probably a likely situation you're going to encounter, let's talk about the gear you're going to need to do this without the Hobie welder or the Harbor Freight welder. First of all, you absolutely need some leather gloves because you're going to be dealing with hot surfaces, then you're going to need a flat bladed screwdriver with a wider tip and a stove to be able to heat that up with. Cut up some of that HDPE into thin strips and then we take that aluminum foil and we're going to wrap it around a popsicle stick and then put a piece of braid through two holes so it'll dangle like that. Okay, let me show you the next step by looking at the hole. So get a piece of tape and now we're going to take this popsicle stick and we're going to stuff it through the hole. If your hole isn't big enough to do this, then you don't need to do the popsicle stick. Just fill it in with the HDPE. Then we're going to tape it in place. So now I've got the base for my HDPE. Then I'm going to crank up the stove. I'm going to heat up the tip of this screwdriver. And then I'm going to slowly melt the HDPE into the hole. But first, I've got to put my gloves on. You may find it easier to manipulate the HDPE with a pair of needle nose pliers because then you can hold it right here without the heavy gloves getting in the way. This isn't rocket science. Just take the tip of the screwdriver and press it onto the HDPE and the edge of the hole. The HDP is going to melt and merge into the HB, HDPE of your boat. Do this as a practice on a bucket. As you can see, without the proper tools, it's really not a work of art. But to uh, end it, we just cut the braid off and then we'll let it firm up and dry. And you can see this is going to stay on there. 
but let me pull it off just to show you. So you can see that the HDPE has penetrated all the way in. Now, of course, the best way to, to do a hole is to get it from both sides, but of course, we can't do that here. Now let's clean it up with the right tool. And basically all I want to do is, is smooth it out. The HDPE on this Homer bucket is a lot thinner than what would be on your kayak. So we're going to see it deform just a little bit more. Well, there you go. Something you can use to repair a hole in a pinch. Again, I would recommend you have better equipment than the tip of a screwdriver to do this. But if you don't really want to go out and buy a welder and are willing to put up with something that looks kind of nasty, well, this could be a solution for you. Comments? Throw it down below. Anyway, let's move on to the next step in basic kayak setup.